Your flesh is saying, oh, go ahead and do it. Ain't nobody going to see it. Ain't nobody going to know. Ain't nobody going to, they ain't going to catch you in it. But it's still, even if you're by yourself, it's still beneath you because you have a revelation of who you are. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You are right with God. Now, what sense would it make if Christ beat up on a bunch of folks and then say, well, God, you, you know, they just made me mad right then. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Adam's life was characterized by disobedience. Christ's life was characterized by obedience. Our life is hid in him, so your life is characterized by obedience to the will of God. That's my MO. That's all I'm thinking. Are y'all here or not? That's all I'm thinking about is how can I please my father? But you got to start out with this mind. If, if it was put up on the screen, a snapshot of all of our life, we do like the old deacons used to do when I was coming up in St. John Missionary Baptist Church when they had to get up. Of course, we found out later that finger raised me and I need to go take a smoke. <laughs> that would have been, I need to step out. That was the history on the finger. I gotta. But we would all tip out the building. And the enemy uses that. God knows what you did last week. He knows what you did last night. You can't say you're righteous. And if you won't develop a righteousness mindset, you will agree with the adversary that what Christ did is null and void. Then he has a right to always keep you under his thumb. But the scripture says in Romans 5.17 that because of one man's trespass, death reigned through him, Adam much more surely with those who receive God's overflowing grace and the free gift of righteousness. Grace and righteousness, if you receive it, those two put together will produce a power that causes you to rule and reign in life as a king. Who can't go around, I'm a king, but you don't believe you're righteous. Mm. Glory to God. And we reign through the man, Christ Jesus. Watch this. If you go to heaven right now, you will see the Father God sitting on the throne. Our heavenly Father is sitting on the throne, and at his right hand is a man with a physical body. That's too much for y'all. A man with a physical body standing in heaven. Ain't nobody else got no physical body. The man Christ Jesus. He has authority in heaven and in earth, in the spirit realm and in the natural realm. He has the authority. And he delegated it to us. And we've been afraid. Uh, uh, I can't think like that. What people going to say if, if I go around and tell them I'm a king? I got one pair of jeans and I got a raggedy shirt. And my jeans got holes in them. That don't change who you are. When you know who you are, who you are will change that. Whew. 
So for those of you that don't know, righteousness means that you're justified and declared right with God because you've been, your sins have been cleansed yeah. by Christ Jesus. He did it. We couldn't do it. He did it for us. We receive it. Yeah. Believe it and receive it. That's too simple. If earning it is the way, then there was no point in Christ coming. We just be good enough. But if you're trying to be good enough for God to accept you, that's called your righteousness. And he says, ours is as filthy rags. Our sins, our righteousness, I'll put it that way, is the same as filthy rags. Filthy rags is the throwaway from a monthly menstrual cycle. That's what it means. Tell your neighbor, say, stop trying to be too good now. Our own efforts, he said, that's what it's like. And the saints threw their head back and said, oh, Lord. We have to address this stuff so you get the image. Now, the Lord's been dealing with me about, about righteousness, but see, here's a problem. We'll say it, but we don't trust him. Oh, help me, Lord. Help me. Listen to this. The force of righteousness. Say it's a force. See, it ain't just, I'm righteous. It's a force that comes up out of your spirit and readjust things in your life, even your thinking. The force of righteousness completely overcomes the power of sin and death in your life. It'll overcome it. Oh, really? Yeah. If you had a bonfire and you threw a drop of water on that bonfire, before that water could make any progress, you hear pssst. That fire overcame it. Water's supposed to put fire out but the fire is greater than that drop of water. So it evaporates it. Your righteousness is like that bonfire. And sin and death operating in your life is like that drop of water. But you think you're like the drop of water and sin and death is the bonfire. Come on. You got to get it right. When you understand righteousness, the devil don't have a leg to stand on. He don't have grounds to stand on. If you take it to the court, he's defeated. If you take it to the street, he's defeated. If you take it home, he's defeated. You look at your money, he's defeated. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You're the bonfire. That's why the scripture said, even in the Old Testament, when you go through the water, it won't, it won't overwhelm you. Why? Because you'll lap it up. <laughs> if you go through the fire, now you're the water and you'll extinguish it. You can't lose when you realize that you are the righteousness of God. Jump up on your feet and say, I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. For the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has snatched me up out of the rule and reign of the law of sin and death. I rule. And the law of life in Christ Jesus is the law of righteousness. I'm right with God. I don't care how you feel. You're, if you're born again, you're right with God. I don't care if you got a crook in your neck. You're right with God. I don't care if you can't hardly see straight. You're right with God. I don't care what's going on. You are right with God. Shout out on the righteousness of God. In Christ Jesus. Y'all sit down. Woo. 
Watch this. Whew. We have more power over our lives as being the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus than Satan had over us when we were sinners. Religion does not show you who you are in Christ. Religion is man's attempt to substitute the kingdom of God. When you don't know about the kingdom, you're left with religion. If you study world wars, they were born out of religion. Hmm. So when you discover who you are in Christ Jesus, your entire existence, your health, your finances, even your social life will take on a new meaning. Did you know it takes more effort to be fake? And in the church, we, we kind of mastered that. A bunch of fakes. Huh! But son of them. Make one eye go up and the other one come down. Make your mouth go from being straight across to the ends curl down, look like upside down you. Mean. Sending everybody to hell. Ain't nobody there right but me. Because I'm saved. Sanctified and filled with a whole go. We do all this stuff and the life of the kingdom cannot be detected in our life. What do you mean the life of the kingdom? If you're a king, where's your land? If you're a king, what do you have dominion over? You don't have dominion over people. Why do your circumstances have you under? It's on top of you. It was like one time this guy, he was talking all this noise to this lady. It was actually his wife. Talking this noise, I do this and do that. And he hauled off and bam, hit her. And she went, uh-oh now. <laughs> and when he saw that look on her face, he knew this ain't no joke. <laughs> the problem was, he gave it all he had. Bam! And she looked. You know that head go to the side, you're in trouble. He took off running. He ran down the street, made a left at the corner. And by the time the neighbors caught up with him, she had him across the street sitting in his chest. Bam! Bam! Putting a whipping on him. He was screaming in soprano. Because she had a black belt in karate. <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say, you shouldn't have did that. Have <laughs> when you know that you're the righteousness of God, the enemy throws something at you. And you look at him and kind of crook your head to the side. And say, Uh-oh. He can run, but you'll catch him around the corner. If the saints knew that we're righteous, you'll stop worrying. You'll stop stressing. Yeah. Y'all took up too, too much of my time. Go over, to, <laughs> go over to Matthew. Matthew 6. This is a familiar scripture. All of y'all should know it. If you don't know it, you need to go back and read. It's several verses of scripture. I want to point some things out to you, and then we're going to let you go. Here's what I want you to know. Righteousness, your prevailing image, that's the way you got to see yourself. Say, I'm righteous. I'm righteous. Say, I see, I see myself as righteous in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. See, if you just say you're righteous, you don't realize that you're in a safe place in Christ Jesus. You don't have to work up nothing. He did it all and say, come on in and enjoy it with me. When the devil looks at you, they actually see Christ. They just banking on 
your mind being screwed up that you don't see. Because there's a man thinketh in his heart. So is he. Your present situation, your present position is a result of how you see yourself. So your status, your position of being the righteousness of God guarantees your provisions. I didn't say maybe. Guaranteed. If all your provisions are guaranteed, you don't want for nothing. But if you don't know that, every time something come up, oh, it look like we're a little short. Then the long head preacher and his pretty wife, they get up and say, we need to take, receive monies to, to buy this and to take care of that. I ain't have $20. They talking about, they trying to get my money. I was saving up for my gas money. You know, I got to get back and forth to what? Well, that was going to be my lunch money for the week. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Anybody, any honest folks in here, you, you had something tucked away. You had it stashed. You had it in a little white sock like your grandmama did. And then you come to church and they got the nerve to be asking for something and, and pretty much all you got is tucked away in that sock. And you be like, I ain't giving him nothing. And then the Spirit of God goes, uh-uh. And he nudge you. Give half of it. You discover what kind of salvation you got. That's too much for y'all. Go to Matthew chapter 6. I want you to know, because you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, you didn't make yourself that way. He did it. When you receive Christ, God himself, our heavenly father, declares you, you're right with me. You are in right standing with me. If you're in right standing with God, God says we can do business together. That's what happened to Abram. He believed God and God counted it all up. And his calculations came out, you're right with me. God called him righteous. So Abram wanted for nothing. So much so, everything flipped and wealth came looking for him. And Galatians says, if you are Christ or since you are Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and an heir according to the promise. You are an heir. Everything that Christ has, he got it from God. God said, I'm giving you everything I got. And then he turned around and shares it with us. He didn't say, here's a little bit for you. Here's a little bit for you. Everything I got, you can come in here. If you need to go on my billfold, you can say, Lord, I need to go on your billfold. And he'll pull it out. And you don't thumb through the hundreds and the thousands and get down to a one and pick up three. You need $10 million, so take out $10 million. Oh, by the way, I need another five just for myself. Get it. And then he says, come back when you want some more. And he don't get mad. Oh, long haired joker. Every time I turn around, you always beg for something. He said, No, it's yours. I own it all. Come get yours. Come get you some, boy. Because, see, if you don't understand righteousness, some of the things you see in the Gospels that Christ did, you'll think he was real ins insensitive. Uh uh. You don't come down out of righteousness just because somebody else don't understand. Listen to this. You can't preach the kingdom if you don't understand righteousness. The king is the king of the kingdom, and the king is righteous. And the father has declared us righteous with his righteousness. We ain't got to work it up. What Jesus did, the Lord said, oh, boy, I love that. You're right with me. And everybody that receives what you did are right with me. Yeah. 
I see the picture change. Matthew chapter 6. Let's look at this from the standpoint of righteousness. Verse 24. No one can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and do what? Or else he will be loyal to the one and you cannot serve you can't serve both. Why? Because you're talking about two different kingdoms with two different systems. One system is called righteousness. The other system is called unrighteousness. Unrighteousness has fear, debt, sickness, disease. All of that is a part of that kingdom. And it's in that system of unrighteousness. A lot of folks can't receive their healing because they don't believe that they have a right to it. I heard one preacher say, if, if it can be put on you, God can get it off. Just like the, the Bible said, this leper came to the Lord. He, he approached him and he said, if you be willing, you can make me whole. And the Lord says, I'm willing. But he didn't just leave it there. He did what you're not supposed to do in society when somebody has, uh, they're full of leprosy. That was a thing. They were so bad off that you couldn't come out in public. You couldn't be around other folks. You had to live in a leper colony with everybody else. All of y'all got your nose and fell off, your ears and fell off. There's, your flesh is rotting away. You are a reject. He said, I'm tired of being a reject. Lord, if you're willing, you can make me whole. He said, I'm willing, but watch this. He put his hand on it. Be made whole. Be whole. Why? I'm the righteousness of God and I can make it right with you. Glory. Glory. Glory to God. We around here praying, praying these mamby-pamby prayers. Oh, Lord, if it be thy will. Know what his will is. He's the righteousness of God, and he made you his righteousness. And righteousness always undo unrighteousness. Sickness is unrighteous. Be healed in Jesus' name. Glory. Hey. Glory to God. Woo. So you got to make up your mind what system you're going to serve. The kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness. We already know about the kingdom of darkness. And the Bible said God translated us out. You didn't even walk out. He picked you up and brought you up out of there. You just don't know what kingdom you're in. Woo. Glory to God. You can't serve God in mammon. Watch this. Look at verse 25. Therefore, everybody say therefore. As Dr. Charles Capps would always say, when you see therefore, you need to find out what it's there for. Therefore, I say to you. Now, if you're talking to somebody and they're ignoring you, you got an issue with that. This is the Lord talking. He said, therefore, I just told you there's two systems. You need to make up your mind which one you're going to serve. You can't serve both. You're going to love one and despise the other. That means you're going to either love righteousness and despise unrighteousness, or you're going to love unrighteousness and despise righteousness. Make up your mind. And once you make up your mind, he said, now pay attention to this. I'm talking to you. Elbow your neighbor. Say, he's talking to you. Therefore, I say to you, do not, whoa. What he has to say to his people is, do not worry. He didn't say sometimes. It's absolute. Do not worry. Look at your David say, don't you worry about a thing. Do not worry about your life. That word life has more to do with your soul. Stop tripping. Stop stressing. You don't have to earn this. It's been given to you. What you will eat or what you, the basic things or what you will drink nor about your body. What you're going to put on is not life 
or your life? Is not your life more than food and the body than clothes? Worry has taken this people who were covenant, in covenant with Abraham. They in covenant with God through Abraham. They are reduced down to worrying about basic things. I need a job. They say ain't no jobs. Stop listening to they. What does they look like? Where does they live? Who gave they the authority to tell you what you can have and what you can't have? You better get your head buried in this word. For man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out the mouth of God. What did God say? He said, you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You're right with me. I don't care if you go out on the lake and they say they ain't biting today. You say, well, they ain't biting because you ain't righteous. But I'm righteous and I stand up in the boat and say, come here, fish, get around my boat. You have that authority. But when you worry, you start talking like a failure. You talk like somebody defeated. And you wonder why ain't nothing working. You release defeat out your mouth. Righteous release victory. This is the victory that overcomes the world. My faith, faith comes by hearing his word and hearing his word. And when I hear it, I say it. I keep saying it. I keep saying it. I write it on the tablet of my heart. And then one moment, the force of faith come out and change everything. And it looked just like what I said. Hey! Throw your head back and say, hey! Glory. That's what the righteous do. Thank you for joining us for the Heart of a Servant, an outreach ministry of Canaan Christian Center in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. If you are in the Pine Bluff area, We'd love for you to join us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. for our United Prayer on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. and for our midweek service on Wednesday night at 7. We would also like to give a special thank you to all of our covenant partners. If you are interested in becoming a covenant partner, please visit our website or send us an email. We are Canaan Christian Center, praying that you have the heart of the ideal servant.